Every dog has his day, and he's a particularly lucky dog if he can spend a few days at the kennels of Mrs. Manuk at Chalfon St. Peter, home of the champion Chunum Chow Chows. It's here that the aristocrats of the breed earn their pupkey. It's where they learn to grow up into well-behaved, good-looking, perfectly proportioned, amazingly healthy ladies and gentlemen who, when they go to a show, are instantly mobbed by admiring crowds fighting for a footprint. These are only first-form boys, and they've a long way to go. Just a few weeks old and not much more than a ball of fur. They probably don't know what's in their veins. They've got a family tree carved with the initials of Chow Champs from the land of Chu Chin Chow, where the breed originally came from, and a whole string of illustrious ancestors who were the top dogs of their day. For a consideration of 2,000 pounds, one of them, called Brilliantine, consented to go to America. Breeding championship strains of long-coated dogs is a painstaking business, and chows so quickly show any fault in breeding, or for that matter, in feeding or grooming. A true chow should have a fine upstanding carriage, shoulders muscular and sloping, chest broad and deep, straight fore and hind legs, and feet small and cat-like. The head should be flat and broad and well filled out under the eyes. A perfect dog from these kennels has won as many as 32 championships. The same dog won the best of all breeds cup out of over 10,000 entries. And here he is, champion Chunum Hung Kwong, who might well be the most famous show dog in the world. He has a magnificent head and jaw, a leonine expression, a well-set torso, a fine bushy tail, and the superior air of a world beater. In short, a chow chow to kowtow to.